What's good, well builders? It's the man, it's the myth, the bond, put in work, birth, the wealth builder himself. And we're talking about how to start a tech support business. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, real quick, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we talk about making more money, saving more money, building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's get to the topic on hand. How to start a tech support business. All right, so I know, you know, I, I talk about a lot of different businesses and stuff like that, but I'm trying to narrow it down to businesses you can start based on your career. So if you're a doctor, nurse, um, um, real estate agent, um, uh, customer service rep, uh, whatever it is, you, you deliver your truck driver, whatever it is, there are different businesses you can start based on your career. So we're talking about how to start your own tech support business while working a job. Okay. So we're going to basically break it down from that point. Okay. So let's get into it. All right. So the question is, are you a help desk, help desk engineer with a bunch of certificates or certifications in different concentrations? And you feel like professionally you've hit a wall in your career. Then maybe starting your own tech support business can be for you. Okay. There are a few things you will need to run a help desk tech support type of business. You should know some of these steps if you're actually working in the industry already. But for the sake of this video, let's go from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top. You know what I'm saying? But nah, seriously. All right, so let's break it down. Number one, right? Equipment. You will need a dedicated phone line for clients. I will get a second line on my cell phone so I can still work at a day job. You will need the software and hardware required to operate your business, including a high performance computer and at least one monitor. I would actually go for two. Okay. Because you want to be able to have like different views and a lot of different things going on, especially if you're a one man show. So I would do two monitors and pretty much that's pretty much how you would do it. All right. Number Two, software. If you're going to start a help desk or IT support business, then you're going to need a ticketing system. This is the number one software you're going to need to run your business. Okay, this is going to be the, one of the lifelines, the lifebloods of your business. Okay, so you're going to need a ticketing system to track your projects and workflow. There is an abundance of systems out there to choose from. So I don't have an end all be all site to use, but there are ones I like and the links are in the description for you to check out. Okay. These softwares are different. I, I think I list about two or three different softwares that I think are pretty much some of the best around. Okay. And for context, I've actually worked as a help desk engineer. So I know a little bit about a little bit about being a help desk engineer and, and and all that good stuff. No, I never ran my own help desk engineer business, but I'm pretty sure these are this is the these are the steps you need to take. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. All right, let's get into the rest. All right, number three, your website. Okay, your website should be simple and straight to the point. All the ways to increase, I'm sorry, all the ways to access you and what type of service you provide. All that good stuff need to be on your website. For instance, if you specialize in specific software, then you spotlight that on your website. You should always have a chat bot on your website. That's so your clients can have a way to access you straight from the website. Okay. You want people to go on your website and be able to access you almost immediately. Immediately. <laughs> All right. Number four, clients. So what type of clients your business should be looking for? I would only pursue small business owners only. Okay. Why? Because they will pay you for your services because they understand the need. 
okay most retail customers aka customers that just have random problems with their computers are not going to want to pay you the way a business would okay so start with businesses in your immediate area okay maybe the local startup insurance agent agency or even a local real estate brokerage that's not a big name yet or maybe your local uh, office buildings in your in your su suburb because some suburbs have like office buildings and stuff that's just like off to the side or different little um, office buildings in the cut you can just go there and drop a flyer maybe shake some hands talk to the receptionist you know get in there and tell them hey i'm a help desk engineer i run my own help, uh, it support business and i'm looking for clients or i'm looking to network i'm looking to build my um my rolodex here's my card okay things like that all right number five expansion gotta expand right it support and help desk is a very lucrative business and can be expanded pretty easily okay you can hire other talented help desk engineers once you get more client contracts i understand i understand the whole concept of this so with that being said this will free you up to build your business in other ways like getting more clients and contracts get getting more help desk engineers that you can maybe work on a on a contract basis or, or um, um, you know, or part time or something like that. There's many ways you can build your business. OK. And honestly, you should only get more help desk engineers or more help in your business if you get more contracts that you can't handle. All right. Number six other business opportunities okay this is where it gets fun okay so now you got everything rolling the ball is rolling you got an office you got four help desk engineers and all that good stuff and things are just moving in the right direction you can actually bring in other streams of income like building a youtube channel to show people how to fix issues on their computer themselves this can build some customer rapport and make extra money from the adsense accounts once you make it up to youtube terms okay you can also hold classes in your local area to teach people how to use different common softwares and charge them per class these are just extra forms of income to help you fund your business and fund your pocket okay you can do also um you can have them send their like send their uh messed up laptop messed up computers in, into you that's so you can fix them directly on site you can do a whole bunch of different ways to really expand this business so there you have it those are my six steps to building and starting a it tech support business these are just my ideas take it or leave it all right if you want to learn how to build passive income from the comfort of your home check out my free guide to passive income the link is in the description all right so thanks for watching it's the man it's the myth, the bomb putting work, Burke, signing off for how to start a tech support business. Do remember, wealth builders, make more, save more, build more. Peace. It's the wealth builders, baby.